Oh, Grandpa's here, guys. No. Yeah, it's okay. No. Oh my God, Melvin. Imagine he comes out. Just joking. Today, we are picking up Melvin's stepdad, AKA Grandpa Ray, AKA so GP from the Manila Airport. So this is his first time in the Philippines. Yes. And he's staying for two weeks. Two weeks. And we have so many things planned for him. It's gonna be a blast. Okay, guys, we've been keeping track of Grandpa's flight, and it was supposed to arrive at 7 p.m., but it just changed, and now it's 5.45 p.m., and we just got in the grab, and it's we're gonna arrive at uh, 6.22, so Grandpa, hang in there. And like Knox said, he arrived at 5.45-ish, and as you know, it takes about 30 minutes to an hour to go through customs, so I hope he's not waiting outside. Yes, I'm with Mia. I hope he is not just sitting around waiting. And currently, we are in traffic. Of course, it's Saturday, 6 p.m. So it would have been easier for us to just have him get a grab from the airport. But it's only appropriate that we actually take a grab to go over there. Because every time we arrive in the States, he's the one that's always picking us up, no matter what the time is. Grandpa just text you guys. Okay, let's see if he says, the eagle has landed. <laughs> of course, that's something he would say. Woo! Okay, okay let me check so him back. All right, we have arrived at the arrival area. Bye-bye. Okay, so right now it's 6 20, 23, and I think he's in immigration because he's not here yet, so. So one reason why I am excited that GP is going to be here is because he is so adventurous. He is retired, but he chooses to work for sort of like a, a wildlife nature reserve kind of park, national park, I guess. And he's just up for anything. So Melvin and I have planned a few things for him while he's here for two weeks. And I just know he's gonna be up for anything and everything. Yes, Grandpa does love animals, but he especially likes fishing. And every time we go to see him, mostly we go fishing. So this time we're in the Philippines, we're gonna go fishing. Yes, that's why I had asked in our community post to give us some ideas of where we can go fishing. So a lot of you mentioned Laguna, um, and then we're at Subic Bay. We really wanted to do ocean fishing, not lake fishing but we'll have a great time with GP no matter where we go fishing. Okay, so I wonder how many bags he has. What's your guess, Nox? My guess is two bags. My guess is four bags. I guess one bag. I don't know, he's just so organized and efficient. I just can picture him bringing one bag. I guess two and a half bags. Wow. Okay, never mind. I think it's maybe three now. This is very convenient for all the international travelers out there. So when you go down this ramp, uh, you will have a SIM card station so you can get your SIM card right away. So we're gonna try to get a six-seater grab, but I'm kind of curious to see what these vans cost, the taxi. So let me go find out next. There's actually a bigger van. Oh. Yeah. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah. Yeah. See how much that costs. Is it for the worst. for the bigger van? It's a uh, BGC. Four hundred and four. So four hundred and forty pesos. Forty pesos total. Yes, uh, for two BGC. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir. If yes. there's a Skyway, you have to pay for the Skyway. Got it. Okay. Additional yes. toll. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're talking about this bigger van right here. That would definitely work, and I think that's cheaper than Grab. I wonder why. Yeah, so I just checked for a grab car six seater and it's 493 pesos. And that's a very tight fit with five people and luggage. That's a really good deal. 440 pesos? For a van. For a van? I wonder how we can get that like all the time. That's great. Yes. You know, I was expecting triple that price. <laughs> Grandpa's here, Grandpa's here. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm oh, so good. GP, how you doing? Looking good, man. good, looking fresh. Look at you. you got, oh, he switched to yeah, Nike. Man, look at that. Look at those Nike. Hey, uh, uh, I gotta go with the family, man. Oh, uh, <laughs> love it. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Time to party. Okay, guys, I won. I, I told you he was gonna have two, two and a half. One, two, 
and That's a half. GP travels light. One yeah, and then I was thinking, well, we gotta go to Macau, so I gotta take a smaller one anyway. So I'm gonna put it. Yeah. Hey, Philippine! <laughs> You guys are so tall, man. What happened? Where's my old Knox and Nia? Oh, it's been such a long flight, huh? Oh, man. My butt's sore, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get this taxi over here. Time to go fishing, Grandpa. Thank you. Can I get the lucky yeah. You guys? Yeah. Salamat, okay. yeah, This is, uh, I feel it. <laughs> It's like this all the time though, huh? Let me let me have him put the air con on first. How you doing? Yeah. Say Maganda. Maganda. Gabi. Gabi. Yeah. Maganda Gabi. Okay, I have a question for you, Grandpa. Is this yeah. your first time in the Philippines? This is my first time in the Philippines. Filipino. Oh, oh. How long was the flight? It was a direct flight. 14 hours and 13 minutes. I think it was like an hour and a half early. Is this your longest flight, Graham? Yeah, so it's, it's got good tailwind, you know? I'm so glad you told us to keep checking because uh -huh. they kept saying arrive early, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna arrive at 5 yeah, it's, uh, 545. Yeah. Hey, Grandpa, is this your longest flight? No, it's not. <gasps> What's your longest? My longest flight was when I was a kid coming from Macau to Guam to Japan to Honolulu to San Francisco. <gasps> what? That's like a All on one trip. How old were you? <gasps> I was probably in third or fourth grade, maybe seven years old. I'm no, oh, yeah. no older than that. Yeah, so Grandpa was born in Macau. So that's what he's talking about. And now I have another question. Uh, this is random, but do you know what blobfishes are? Do I know what? What blobfishes are? Of course are? I know what blob. Let, blob has is, is got a face, <laughs> but I know it looks like a blob. You think my brother looks like a blobfish? Yeah, he calls me a blob. <laughs> <laughs> really, Nia? Really? <laughs> You guys are so tall. I want my old Knox and Nia back. Oh, no. <laughs> Do they look taller? Yes. Oh, I'm tall. Him, especially no, him. Nia, Nia's uh, stretched out. Same. Uh, <laughs> One inch. Same waist, but stretched out. Oh, my little baby. <laughs> what are you looking forward to? Yes. Well, basically the culture, the food, uh, and just uh, being in the Philippines. It's just. I've never been. Well, you're going to be eating a lot here. Oh, what are so you Let's lechon. We're going to try lechon. Oh, Ciao. Grandpa wants to try lechon. So a little backstory with uh, GP. You are now retired from UPS. Yes, I worked for uh, UPS for 43 years. Now, I'm not quite sure if there's UPS in the Philippines, but it's equivalent to FedEx. Now, before working for UPS, uh, you were in the military. I, In fact, no, I was uh, actually uh, working for UPS and I was drafted. Wow. Everybody out of 275 people that was in my class, 273 went to Vietnam. Ray was sent to Alabama. Alabama? Alabama. Alabama. What they did is they made a uh, grandpa uh, helicopter mechanic. Uh -huh. So grandpa was fixing choppers. Grandpa, you need to fix our closet. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Grandpa's also a handyman. <laughs> and uh, tell us a story about the most interesting thing that's a that happened to you in the army. <laughs> well, I don't know about the most interesting, but I was thrown out of a jeep one time, going about 30 miles an hour. Wow. So, so what happened after? I was. I went to the hospital. He was reborn. He oh. was reborn. It was. Oh. So you you retired UPS now instead of just hanging out to decide to go back to the workforce. I, a couple of years afterward, I, I, knew, I wanted to do, do something that I liked because I know retiring uh, and not doing nothing is not good for you and your health. So I went back in business, what I like to do, which was to work for Fish and Wildlife. I volunteer to help the kids in the city that never went anywhere to go fish or anything like that. So basically, we provide fishing for the city lakes for these low-income kids to come fish. And also, kids that are uh, handicapped kids. Just basically help them to fish. Now, every year that we meet up with Grandpa, we always go fishing. Our most epic fishing trip would have to be Cabo. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Do you remember that?
So hopefully in the Philippines we can set up fishing here. All right, so the fishing trip is still in the work. So I will update you guys later on that. But before we do that, we are going to be going to Macau next week with Grandpa because that's where he was born. Yeah, so we got to go to Macau because it's only under two hours to get there. So that'll be very convenient for us. But you're pretty jet lagged right now. <laughs> what time would it be in the U U.S. for uh, you? Three or four in the yeah, morning. Four. Three in the morning right now. Three. So we'll we'll make this a quick night. We'll uh, get all your luggage upstairs and then just go down and eat around our area. The next day is Mama and Dad's anniversary. <laughs> That's right, the 17th. Yes. Right. 15 years right here. She is very lucky. <laughs> we should show some pictures of our wedding because GP was right, right here. So GP, this is what we call Manila traffic right here when we go 0 0.0001 mile per hour. <laughs> yes. In the U.S., a 50-minute van ride, how much would it cost you? It'll cost you about uh, $65 from LAX to home. But here at GP, how much do you think this van ride is? I would say $50. Can I tell you? Can I tell? Talk it. About 6 to $7. For all of us? Yes. yes. Ooh la la, I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> Services are very cheap here and affordable, but then there's other things that are very expensive. So for example, electricity. Oh, I saw yes, that. Yes, <laughs> yes. One of our bill was $700 for one month. Steak is very expensive here. Steak. Steak, because they have to import them. Oh, and okay. then um, electronics. Very electronics. Very yeah. wow. And cars. If you have income from America and you're, but you're living here, then that would be, that's great. Oh, so yes. I can be here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> GP is moving here. I wonder if people are going to think that Grandpa's Filipino. I know. Hey, hey, he loves so. Filipino. They speak Filipino to me all the way through here. Really? <laughs> oh, they, they all do, even at home. They do that. Grandpa's made in China. Are you sure you're not Filipino? Absolutely. <laughs> I, I don't know what I am, but uh, I'm going to do that test, the CRI. That'll We're find here. out what I am. So. I think you can get it here. Oh, we should do that here. You can't? Yeah. Sure. Let's do it here. Uh, How long does it take, though? Oh, that's true. Filipino time. <laughs> Filipino time <diving> forever. <laughs> All right, so we are almost here, and then uh, we're just gonna get GP upstairs and then find a place to eat. Welcome. You can't see the viewer. Oh, there's a big golf course down there, but it's only yeah. there. Okay. Oh, oh. Like, hey, I'm Mochi. Mochi. Okay. Hey, Mochi. He likes you. Mochi. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, let me show you your tail. Good job. Come on, Mochi. I got something for you. Ooh. Yeah, sit. Mochi. Mochi. Mochi, sit. Okay. Oh. Okay. Close. <laughs> oh, he likes it. <laughs> oh, it's an espresso. An espresso? What? I got it. That's a Mexico and El Salvador. Wow. Grandpa just gave us a 
because uh, Grandpa sees all the, cleans up all the dead mountain lions on the thing on the road. So he gave me a big boy mountain lion necklace, and then cool. and then I got a baby mountain lion with little cute little charms. Look at this. He's so cute. All right, so the kids are showing Grandpa their rooms. They're so excited, but he needs to get some rest. So before he falls asleep, we're gonna go take him out into BGC and just get some food for him, have a nice dinner, and then let him rest. Now let's show Grandpa what BGC looks like in the nighttime. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> For books, yeah, and the national bookstore, but national bookstore. So we're out here walking on the greenway, walking past, and we're showing GP this area because he loves to walk back at home in California. So this would be perfect. Literally, is our backyard, so he can come out here, get his morning walk in, his coffee. And when we say morning, we mean early morning, like four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Early best yeah. This is Forbes Town. Welcome. This is like a cute little charming area right next yeah. to our condo. We come here almost every week. I do grocery shopping here, salon here. Like they have supermarkets breakfast. here. Yeah. You guys have a Costco here. They have an S and R, which is exactly like really? Costco. Yeah, like the same warehouse. So GPS, you can tell there's a ton of restaurants around our neighborhood a lot <laughs> and that's just a small part of it by the way i know so you will never go hungry <laughs> yeah. and this is a, a place that they're building for me right here it's restaurant the new mexican deal is coming i hope they serve good mexican food hey grandpa that was for town but this is the start of high street it's, high street yes yeah, really long i'm excited to show you it's a little bit packed since uh, it's a Saturday. Weekend always busy. Yeah. Okay, what do you think about Forbes Town? I'm, the, very intimate, very personal type of setting. We got Wolf Game right there. Wolf Game. So does this feel like Americanized because we've got like Zara, it, we've got Shangri-La. I, I know. Wolf Gang. It absolutely does. It does, yeah. right? Do you picture Philippines to be like this at all? Nope. <laughs> nope. This would be considered central. BGC. So it's divided into south, central, then uptown. Oh, They've got yeah. the 3D billboards. One here, <laughs> but they just added that second one recently. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. And this is my favorite sunglass store called Gentle Monster. Uh -huh. So on the weekends, yeah. it gets really packed because two reasons. Because it's the weekend yeah. and second because they close off this part of the road, so Fifth Avenue. Oh, Fifth, Fifth, uh, Fifth Avenue, so people can scooter and just walk around. See, Adidas. Grandpa, Grandpa's Grandpa. favorite store used to be Adidas over there, but now that Ooh. we're all wearing Nike, he uh, switched to Nike. Nike. I roll with I roll with the family. <laughs> Okay, but you got yeah, Din Tai Fung. They got Din Tai Fung and Adidas. Din Tai right Fung's right there. All right, GP. So what does this street remind you of? I'm really curious. Well, it reminds me of Santa Monica, the uh, promenade. Pa yeah, promenade. Third Street oh, promenade. Okay. Third Street promenade. Yeah. yeah. But it's a lot even more crowded here. Yeah. Both ways. A lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah, most of these people are from out of town mm -hmm. or visiting from from the other province and it's crazy because when we first uh, moved here we were like what are all these buildings yeah. but you start going into each one and they're like malls inside of these oh, yeah. inside so, of so these are all malls yeah oh they yeah, are the, those are the store within the store yes. yes so right there down there right there would be a food district you never run out of food here no let's go feed grandpa it's getting really late i'm but hungry these are the good times I told you Filipinos love food. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Wanted to find some Filipino food for GP. It's his first time here. Of course, we want to show him the Filipino hospitality and have him have some good food. So uh, we went downstairs, but they're busy. But Crisostomos is really good. Another of our favorite Filipino food. And they have a table open for us. And it's aircon inside. Actually, this brings back memories because Crisostomo was the first Filipino restaurant that we ate at the very first time that we came to the Philippines together as a family. So I can just taste that sinigang in my mouth. 
Nostalgia. Yeah, so BGC is pricier than outside of BGC. So the prices here are affordable, but not as affordable as if we left. It'd be way cheaper. I mean, compared to the U.S., this is good. Then. Yeah. So over in U.S., you know, a family of four, you go to the fast food place right now, easy 50, 60 bucks. 3,300 pesos. Yeah. That's a lot of money for fast food. Because there's a requirement that you have to pay fast food people $20 an hour. 20? You have to pay 20. So, so guess what happens? We tried to price up some more. So is that minimum wage? Minimum. Wow. I haven't been to the U.S. in so long. Alright, Grandpa is not that hungry, so we're just gonna order him a little bit of a uh, uh, something something here. By the way, if you want something here, you gotta put your hand up. If you want your bill, you gotta put your hand up. If you want, you know, extra napkins or drinks, put your hand up. It's like school. Yeah, like school, sir, teacher. Come on, this is lechon puali. It's lechon, but it's not like lechon, lechon. It's called lechon puali. It's like crunchy. Okay. And these are, what are this? It's just chips. Chip, like, these are shrimp chips. Yeah. Your first lechon puali in the Philippines. There you go. And we got some calamari. Not crispy enough? It's good. I didn't hear the crunch. I didn't hear a crunch either. Alright, so there is no crunch from GP. Not bad. Pretty good. So what do you think about that? Honest. Very crispy. It's good. Very good. What would you rate it? I'll give it an 8. How about the lechon? This, I'll give it a 7. GP, he's a foodie. So this is like the perfect atmosphere for him because he's going to be trying a lot of different foods and he will love it. These are baby crabs. Baby We're going to eat some crab together, Grandpa. So how do you yeah. eat baby crabs? How do you eat well, some crab? You, you, you eat the whole thing. Go. Uh, even the legs? Even the legs. So he would try anything. Very crunchy and a little bit soft in the middle. I give this like kind of seafoodish but like meaty taste and it's like eating chips except with a little bit of the crappy taste to it. It's really good. I would give this a 7.5 out of 10. Because one reason why is because when I was eating the legs, the legs poked the top of my top top of my mouth, so it was an unpleasant experience. That's good. This is the first time I have it, so I don't, I don't know what uh, what it is before, but it tastes very, very good. I would, have, I would give it an eight. The beef, I would say that's a seven. That's very good. The beef tenderloin, it's good. What are you trying now, GP? Sinega. How do you like it? That's the most sour sinega I have. <laughs> It is very sour. I don't mind it one bit. I love sour. Honestly, I prefer the Manam one because it's not too sour and it has like radishes and that. So, Manam Sinigang. But how cool is this, GP? You're in the Philippines trying out Filipino food. Woo it only took you 70 plus years to, to, figure that one to, to get out here. <laughs> Are you full? I'm good. I'm full. Yeah. The goal was to get you full full stomach so you can just knock out. This is going to be my third, my my, four, my fifth child. I got Nelvin, Knox, Nia, Mochi, and now GP. I have five kids now, guys. Five, five kids. I got to get my fifth child to bed. So I hope you guys all liked meeting GP. Isn't he the best? <laughs> now, it was a short night because he landed really late, but tomorrow we're going to be showing him all of BGC all day long. So I can't stay wait. tuned for that. I can't wait. Yay! And in the meantime, if you guys want to watch more Mom Duty content, click here. Or GP go like this. Or click here for more uh, Mom Duty content. Or And then you say subscribe here. Subscribe here. Subscribe here. <laughs> Thank you.